everyone, how's it going today? We are shopping in downtown today and first stop, St. Laurent. This was one of my favorite pieces of the new collection. It's so, so gorgeous. It is raw denim. I'm trying on the size 34 and the 36 was just a touch too big, but it had like absolutely no stretch on the shoulders, but so nice on. My other favorite piece in their new fall collection was this long faux fur dress. It's actually faux fur. I didn't realize this, but they no longer sell genuine fur. Second stop, Prada. My absolute favorite jacket in the entire haul is this denim crop piece. So casual. I am loving denim. I've always loved denim and I just feel like they're so easy to wear and to take care of. So it's a no brainer really. It is definitely more of an oversized. I was trying on a size 36, which is equivalent to like a US extra small. They didn't have a smaller size, but I do like the oversized vibes of this. And it looks cuter personally when it's unzipped. When it's like zipped up, I almost look like a ball, but still super cute. This was the other piece that was my favorite in Prada. It looks like a blazer but with a zipper so it gives it a little bit more casual of a look but it's definitely business casual for this um i'm obviously not wearing the correct clothes for this outfit but really really pretty fabric this one feels like something you'll never have to iron it just looks great traveling or like an everyday piece but definitely love this crop jacket stopped by to Burberry. I don't usually come here. This was a new cardigan I actually quite liked. I really like that oversized rip. That was really pretty. This wool cashmere coat was so nice and there's this nice high slit here. It almost looked a little bit too much but it is reversible. So this is the inner side with the big plaid scream blur burberry i do like it open i feel like it's a little bit more casual and less bathrobe when it's open and this is the other side i do actually prefer this side a little bit better because you can still really see the entire burberry lining inside but it's just a little bit more low-key and it goes a little bit better with outfits Definitely like to wear it open rather than closed. This was probably my favorite piece in Burberry for the fall collection. This is something different from Chopard. I almost never go here. This one was really nice. It's like a half pavé. I believe they called it the ice cube or the cube collection. It's quite cute and very delicate. My boyfriend wanted to look at some watches. This is one of the ones he tried on and that sunburst style was absolutely gorgeous. It was a gray face style and they did come in this blue sunburst style as well. And apparently you can go scuba diving with it, but really, I don't even go scuba diving. This was the sport diamond. I love this one. This has like this beautiful limited condition. You can see the stars and the moons, starry night. I'm not usually a fan of this electric blue color, but this is so gorgeous with the croc embossed leather strap and the moon and the star. I just love how it tells a story. They did have a couple of different limited edition versions that told a story. This one was so interesting. This green one was a golf collection. So there's a little golf club in there and a golf um, ball. It was so interesting that they had these kind of fun collections. Absolutely love. Stopped into Tom Brown. They have those classic dog purses. I don't think I would ever get one, but it is very fun and very signature Tom Brown. We just had a quick stop in Brunello. Um, I've never 
bought anything from here before and it's never a brand on my radar but the materials are just absolutely fabulous i can just picture like bill gates wearing something from brunello so we just did a little bit of window shopping please ignore this down here um we went to burberry and i was actually looking for a new jacket for my birthday um the Burberry cardigan actually didn't look as nice as I wanted it to, but the trench, that like wool coat was actually so nice and I love that it was reversible. Um, and I love the high slits on the side. Um, I would say though, I think the best piece I tried on was the Prada pieces. The crop jackets are just so nice. There was a couple of different brands like in Prada um, and in YSL where they had that crop look, but that Prada one for the denim was just so casual and it's just so nice for like every single day. Um, but the one at YSL, I really did like it, but it was raw denim and it was just so tight. Like I tried on the 34, which is like an extra, extra small for US, but it was like a little too small. Um, it just felt so tight around the shoulders. I really couldn't move my arms, but the... Um, 38 36 the one size up which is the extra small was like way too big at the shoulders um and what was actually so interesting at ysl was that i didn't realize but for winter 22 of this year it's the first season where they said that they weren't gonna sell exotics for furs anymore um so there was one cardigan i think that i shared uh, like this long dress with like a fur collar and it's actually full fur it is quite nice like they did the synthetic fur quite nice but they no longer sell um full fur uh general genuine fur anymore so next season they said they were gonna come out with like a mink jacket too but also full fur so i'm kind of interested on how that's gonna happen but definitely a lot of big designers i i noticed recently are swearing off exotics um I've heard a rumor about Hermes also not doing exotics in the future, which I'm so curious about because Croc is such like a big leather for them. So, Ooh. but thank you so much for joining me in my shopping adventure today. I hope I pick out a jacket that I really, really like um, soon. Um, and I will see you again in my next video. Thank you. Brunello, I, I can't say it. Okay, I think it's Brunello Cuccinelli gave us a little catalog which is so sweet of them um i never bought anything from here but we tried on that jacket that you saw and it was um ten thousand dollars actually i don't think i maybe i'll try to pop in a photo of what it was um that they sent they gave us a little catalog as like a, here you go and i think it's so cute Ooh, this jacket i love i tried to show you in the front there but it has the men's and the women's collection oh it's two separate books in here nice okay i'm so excited to end off my day um we just went to a friend's house and they have this massive almost like abandoned fig tree because no one eats them i can't even show you how big this is but this fig tree is like four massive fig trees combined and it's like bushes of fig trees like all together and um i'm basically having like a all you can pick and i have like this plastic bag and look how many figs i got so far i am so excited and i'm definitely gonna eat this for like the next two weeks yay fig season So we literally picked an entire box full of figs. So juicy. Mm.